Hello comic book fans, today I bring you my review and look at the We Stand on Guard hardcover deluxe edition. This book collects all six issues from the miniseries that was released in 2015 and it also includes some original sketch work in the back of the book. We Stand on Guard is published by Image Comics. It is written by Brian Vaughn, the writer of other such great books as Why the Last Man and Ex Machina. And he's also the writer of the ongoing series Saga, which is my favorite comic book series at the moment. This book also features great artwork by Steve Scroche. He is also a co-creator on this book, along with Brian Vaughn. We Stand on Guard is about the United States of America invading Canada. The story centers around a young woman named Amber and follows her from when she's a young girl in the year 2112 at the start of the invasion and goes through to the year 2124. As the story follows Amber, we see her struggle to avoid capture from American forces, trying to maintain her freedom. We see her struggle with things like the loss of her family, maintaining survival, and eventually in her journey, she comes across a group of Canadian resistant fighters called the 2-4. It is at this moment that she joins them and eventually takes part in the plot to drive the United States out of Canada. This book features some really cool sci-fi elements, like these giant gorilla-style mechs the United States used to invade Canada and occupy its territory. They also have small units that look like dogs, and of course drones. It is a very unique book. Not very many stories center around Canadians being heroes, especially ones where the United States are portrayed as villains. It's got that going for it too, which is kind of makes it more, a little more interesting. And one of the things I love best about this book is the believability behind the reasons why the United States are invading Canada. And, you know, and they explain things like why they are able to get away with it without other countries uh, stepping in to help Canada. It's a cool possible futures story. It features some really cool possible future tech. One thing that's in particular that's really scary is this torture scene. You know, if they ever invented a way to torture people like that, holy crap, that'd be pretty scary. As a Canadian myself, I, I really enjoyed this story because there's a lot of Canadian flavor throughout. And it's a good short story. Like I said at the beginning, it was only six issues, so it doesn't take that long to get through. It's a good, fun, pick-up-and-read kind of book. You can do it easily in one sitting, and it's not too expensive. I definitely recommend picking up this book, it's, as it is something incredibly unique that features great writing and a very unique story with great artwork in it. It is a very mature and violent story as well. And I just had a blast reading it. There's 
some of the sketch work. That's a concluded in the deluxe edition here. I like seeing this kind of stuff in books. That's it everyone. Yay. I, I recommend this book. It's very unique, so uh, enjoy it.